There are more details from the kidnapping investigation about a North Texas woman who was reported missing yesterday and then found at the southern border. 37-year-old Lacey Lynn Overby was located in Laredo. Police say she told authorities that she'd been kidnapped and held against her will. Her alleged kidnapper was not with her. Fox 4's Amelia Jones live at the DeSoto Police Department with the update. Amelia. Heather, Lacey Overby's family told me they're thankful and relieved she's safe. Her family didn't want to talk on camera, but they hope her story raises awareness to always be cautious and aware of your surroundings. 37-year-old Lacey Lynn Overby is back with her family after she was allegedly kidnapped Thursday afternoon. DeSoto police say around 3.30 p.m., Overby spotted a man who she thought was homeless near a gas station convenience store. The registered nurse decided to buy the man food from a nearby Taco Casa in Lancaster. The victim was on the phone with a family member. Uh, when she went to go make contact with the individual who she was bringing food to. DeSoto police say the family member heard a commotion on the other end of the phone. They contacted police and a clear alert went out statewide with Overby's photo and car description. The family member told police Overby described the man before she gave him the food, so police had a description to work with. The suspect is described as a uh, Hispanic male, 25 to 35 years of age, um, ball-headed, wearing a blue and plaid jacket. Around 11 p.m. Thursday, DeSoto police got a call that Overby was in Laredo trying to cross into Mexico. She alerted authorities at the International Bridge that she'd been kidnapped and the suspect was still inside the car. The officials there uh, took her to safety. Uh, officers at the International Bridge searched the vehicle. However, they did not locate a suspect in the vehicle at the time. Police say nobody was found in the car with her, and so far, nobody has been arrested. She was obviously very upset when uh, law enforcement made contact with her last night. Um, she was taken for medical exam, um, just, you know, just to be safe, make sure she was okay. I can tell you that family is with her at this time. DeSoto police don't have the results from the medical exam. They also don't have a motive for the kidnapping or know if a weapon was used. They only confirmed Overby told officers she was being held against her will and told to drive across the border. The fact that she, you know, had the courage to alert the authorities that, you know, what had happened that this person had kidnapped her, you know, that takes a lot of courage. It takes a, a lot of courage to do that. And thankfully she did, and thankfully she's safe because of it. Right now, Border Patrol, Laredo, and DeSoto Police Departments are involved in the investigation. DeSoto Police are asking anyone who might have seen a man that matches the suspect's description in the area of East Parkerville Road on Thursday afternoon to contact them. Police haven't got a chance to talk to Overby yet, but they want to speak with her as soon as she's back in North Texas.